Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Uh, we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is nitrogen and its compounds. And uh, today I would like us to discuss the properties of one of the nitrogen oxides and that is the properties of nitrogen one oxide. <coughs> So properties of nitrogen one oxide and we are going to start with the physical properties. So first during preparation we saw that uh, nitrogen one oxide is collected over warm water. And that is because it is soluble in cold water. So basically we can say that uh, the gas is soluble. Nitrogen 1 oxide is soluble in cold water. Hence collected over warm water. is a colorless gas with a pleasant smell. It's a colorless gas with a pleasant smell. The gas is neutral to litmus. That means it has no effect on litmus papers. Either the red or the blue uh, litmus paper and uh, the other thing is that uh, at room temperature at room temperature the gas does not support combustion But at but uh, the gas at higher temperatures, the gas uh, relates a glowing splint, but relates a glowing splint, just like the oxygen gas. It has some properties that are almost similar to oxygen gas. So in as much as at room temperature it does not uh, support combustion uh, but uh, relates a glowing splint when uh, the glowing splint is uh, introduced. Uh, then we are going to look at the chemical properties and uh, this one is furthered from the last point that says that uh, uh, the gas it relates a glowing splint. Uh, we can say that uh, a nitrogen one oxide reacts with burning metals or heated metals. with heated metals to form their respective oxides. And is reduced to nitrogen gas. So when nitrogen one oxide is heated with metals, uh, it oxidizes uh, those metals into their respective oxides and it becomes reduced to nitrogen gas. For example, if you have magnesium that is heated and then you introduce nitrogen one oxide gas, so we are saying that magnesium produces heat that decomposes 
nitrogen, one oxide into nitrogen and, oxi uh, and oxygen. And the oxygen produced oxidizes the magnesium. While the gas is reduced to nitrogen gas. So magnesium is oxidized to magnesium oxide, which is a white solid. So we are saying that uh, magnesium... produces heat that decomposes nitrogen one oxide into nitrogen and oxygen and is then oxidized by the oxygen released so basically we are saying that uh, magnesium or even copper uh, produces heat that decomposes the nitrogen one oxide into nitrogen and oxygen and therefore continues to burn in the oxygen that is produced and the metal is oxidized to its oxide and then the gas is reduced to nitrogen gas <clears throat> so we can see that in form of uh, a diagram and this diagram is whereby if we take uh, is nitrogen one oxide so we have heated copper tannings So we are saying that when nitrogen one oxide is passed through heated copper tannings, uh, the copper tannings break down the gas into nitrogen and oxygen and continues to burn in the oxygen produced while nitrogen is collected on the other end. Of course, it's collected over water. So... We are saying that copper plus nitrogen one oxide, the copper is oxidized to copper two oxide plus nitrogen gas. So in other words, uh, copper undergoes oxidation while nitrogen one oxide is reduced. So there is a reduction. So initially, copper is red-brown, but uh, copper 2 oxide is black. So that is the observation in terms of uh, the color change. <coughs> so the chemical property number 2, uh, besides now that of reaction of uh, nitrogen 1 oxide with metals, as we have seen for magnesium and copper, nitrogen one oxide also reacts with non metals. Nitrogen one oxide reacts with non metals. And this is to form non metallic oxides. <clears throat> and nitrogen gas. So, for example, we have sulfur. When you react with the nitrogen one oxide, that is burning sulfur, then you are saying that sulfur is oxidized 
to sulfur four oxide gas while nitrogen one oxide is reduced to nitrogen. So this is basically a reduction while the sulfur is oxidized to sulfur four oxide. So you can balance that and that. So sulfur initially it's yellow but the sulfur four oxide is colorless. Is a colorless gas. So basically we are saying that uh, nitrogen one oxide has the properties of oxygen in that it is supporting uh, the oxidation of heated metals and also non-metals. And in the process the metals and the non-metals are, become, are becoming oxidized. And they are becoming oxidized by the oxygen that is present in nitrogen one oxide. And the other product that is being formed is nitrogen gas. <coughs> Finally, the uses of nitrogen one oxide. Uses of nitrogen one oxide. Uh, nitrogen one oxide was previously used as an anesthesia during dental surgery and it was then referred to as the laughing gas because people recovering from the effects of the gas would break into hysterical laughter. Hence the word laughing gas. But of course we are saying that it's no longer being used in dental surgery at the moment. So you can say that uh, it was formerly used as anesthesia. During dental surgery. But patients recovering would break into hysterical laughter. Hence, the gas was referred to as the laughing gas. It's laughing gas in quotes. <coughs> uh, of course, the other property, the other uses of nitrogen one oxide are based on the fact that it has properties that are similar to oxygen and uh, we say that it's used as an oxidizer in car engines, especially race cars, in race car engines and rockets. And also it is used in flames you know it is called analytical flames so all these are based on the fact that it supports combustion so an assignment based on that So the first question, explain why nitrogen one oxide was previously referred to as laughing gas, as we have explained in one of the uses. Uh, two, state three properties of nitrogen one oxide. 
So we are going to stop there. Until next time, goodbye. Thank <music> you.